one and all to the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast for our taste test review of the very exclusive, hard to find, unbelievable, powerful, pleasurable Crown Royal Peach. I am ha, the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your King of Extreme Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners, the one and only Tony G. We have the returning whiskey, amateur whiskey sommelier extraordinaire, Germs himself, and the returning Blade. Yes. He has returned to us, folks. It's been a minute, but he has come back because he knows where the good stuff is. Now, I will be honest, normally I try to open this live for all of you here so we can get an honest taste test. I showed this to my uh, father the other day, and we just had to, as you can see, take a little sample. So I'm going to give Tony and Germs here the first uh, take, because me and Blade here, yes, sir. we are part of an uh, exclusive fraternity of those who have tried Crown I haven't drank it prior. Yes, yes. So... We are going to give this a shot here. There you are, sir. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's see how it hits the nose first. Seeing Tony G go straight into it, and you got germs over there, just a little, a little worried about it. I'll be all right. Very appealing to the nose. It is. It's very peachy. Makes you look forward to taking a drink. Reminds me of high school buying peach stogies at the gas station or having somebody buy peach stogies for you. Yeah. 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 Jerks, what's Smells your impression good. on the nose before it hits the tongue? The waste and time smell on it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Oh, I'm supposed to drink it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Hi right there. Bottoms up. up. Holy peachy. Jesus. That is good. That is, uh... That is good. That's basically like somebody took a Crown Royal, dumped it in the glass, and threw a peach Jolly Rancher in. I it's disagree. It tastes better than a Zima. Well, no shit, it tastes better than a Zima. I mean, we're not... That, that's a completely different animal, but... Jerry, what's your impression? It tastes better than a Zima, though. Yeah, that is a fair that's assessment. It, it definitely tastes better than a Zima. Was, man, what a grade... <laughs> what a curve you're trying to grade on here, man. Jeez. Hmm. What's your impression, Germs? This is dangerous. Yes. This is I really, agree. Really, really, really it's incredibly good. smooth. Finish is very flavorful, and... Yeah, it goes down very easy. For plain naked, that's not too yeah, it's, bad. Yeah, it's cold. You don't, I mean, if it's cold like that, you don't need the ice. Top three whiskeys I've ever had, right here. It's in the top three. Um, probably one of the best whiskeys I've ever had. It's in the top ten of brown spirits hmm. I've ever had. I, 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 okay, I, sir, may, may I have a small refill? Oh. Well, can you have a much better endorsement for a drink than that, folks? The guy who seemed the, the most skeptical about this leading up now needs another sippy mm. poo. I <sighs> usually like Irish, and I don't like flavored. But I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna drink sweet, you're gonna drink flavor. This is uh, this is definitely a good way to go. No yep. complaints. Uh, uh, Canadian whiskey is known for its high quality, and this is no exception. So. On a scale of one to five, what do you give it to? One to five. Uh, I'm, one to five stars. I'm going to go three. Three stars. Mm. I like it. I mean, I can drink this straight Germs. easily, and I always drink my whiskey straight for the most part. This is the best flavored whiskey I've ever had. Yeah, as far as the crown so line are you, goes. What, how many yeah. stars? On a flavor scale, five. That's fair. Uh, yeah, what other metrics are you honey. using to... Well, you can't put that up against dry whiskey. No, no. Irish whiskey. Totally different. You've already got a flavor added to it. Yeah. 
but better than any Jameson I've had. Oh, that's just insanity. Oh, that's just horseshit. That's just insanity. <laughs> one thing. I'm incredibly partial to Jameson. There is no whiskey button. You know what I'm saying? I am. What's that? There's no whiskey button. On yeah, there's no bite. There's no. no, ow, this burns. Why? So. No, you could almost drink this if you have a sore throat or a cold. And what do you rate it on a star it would be list, accepted. sir? Blade? The on, a star li on a star list of one to five. One, one to five. five. On the best whiskeys or just the best crap? Just in general, how would you rate it? On, one to on five. It against yeah, all uh, the drinks. A whiskey that I would not go to all the time, it is definitely a four. Wow. Every four time. stars. But it's not it's not a go to whiskey. It's a it's a very every now and again summertime whiskey because in the oh, summertime yeah. it's peach. And, now and Tony I can agree with that. that. You and it goes great with tea. Okay. You will disagree with this, sir, but on the five star scale, I give this a Dave Meltzer 7.2. So this is the finest whiskey I have ever had the pleasure of allowing to touch my lips, hit my tongue, and go down my gullet. So has he ever actually drank Jameson? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Poser to the crown. So all that being said. Folks, I would definitely recommend you give Crown Royal Peach a shot for your next occasion, or your two. next whatever. Or two shots. Whether you're using it as drinking liquor or party liquor, don't really matter. This is definitely something you should consider for the top of your list. For the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast, like, share, and subscribe, I am <laughs> the Tom Brady of wrestling podcasting himself. The Muhammad Ali of general podcasting universally. Your king of extreme, Phil KOE, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partners. Germs, Blade, and Tony G. Your champion.